general item three. Uh, if you could all stay seated, um, I welcome my chaplain, Diane Yonasan Abraham, to his first meeting in council. As this is his first meeting, I would like to give Diane Abraham an extended period to offer prayers. Thank you. You want to call the mayor, Councillor Mark Shooter, Mayoress, Melissa Shooter, all of the councillors. It's an uh, honour and a privilege to stand before you here today. It's an icon of democracy, a source of uh, so much that affects our daily lives in the borough. Just a few days after the end of the mourning period in the Jewish calendar, three weeks of mourning culminating in the past, a 25 hour fast. Finished on Sunday night, although my girlfriend made me lie, it was a 25 hour fast. Thinking at the time of our Muslim friends who had finished the Ramadan 30 day fast. Incredible, incredible realization of commitment. I think more now than his cricket endeavors on behalf of Ethan Wilde's fasting during Ramadan is an absolute hero of the British Muslim community. It's really a lesson for us all. But to stand here as a member of the Barrett Barnet, Part of the community is an honor. And let me tell you, if I may say, what I first time standing here, what I feel. You'll be reading this week, and the reading we do in going through the Bible on a weekly, on a rotational basis every year. But we're reading from Deuteronomy. And amongst all the instructions and commandments that the reading includes, there's a more general instruction about Sisa Hayosha Rabahatari Eliashem. And you should do that which is just and good in the eyes of God. It's a pretty broad instruction. Some understand this to mean as a requirement of the art of compromise and litigation. Don't go for the win, go for the outcome that best serves both. But Ahmadis of the medieval commentators explain this. And in so many areas, religion can give instruction, and the instruction to one can be at the expense at times of the other. And the times as a risk that religious observance can divide. We are told about Sisa Hayosha Rabahatoi. Do that which is just and good. And intercommunal, interpersonal relationships. Make sure that your conduct matches or is measured by the answer of that which is just and good in the eyes of God to the broader <coughs> and complete community. Too many people think that religion has to divide or will be compromised. It doesn't. This borough, democracy itself, is testament to the diversity that we enjoy. In particular, an individual, or perhaps individual communities have an individual way of celebrating their own faith. And it's the Jewish, the Muslim, the Christian, the Hindu, all of us. We share those wonderful freedoms which gives us the ability to practice in our own particular ways. And yet, that is the source of the strength of the respect which underlies the unity which comes from a community acting as a mosaic. Respecting each other and doing that which is just and good. Coming together for the common good in areas which affect the whole community. That is the majesty of democracy. We can have contentious issues. It may raise the eye and the passion of people, but there is a process. Debates are had, conclusions based on the rule of law and the respect that each person has for that democracy. The way of coming to the conclusion which unites rather than divides. As such, for the first time to be standing before you as a very appreciative member of the borough, appreciative to the councillors for the immense amount of time and commitment that goes in giving us the freedoms we take for granted and the services we all enjoy. We should do for the freedoms we all enjoy in this wonderful country. It's a particular pleasure to be standing at a time when, I think in item 11 on the agenda, there is a discussion or debate about the faith covenant which is to be launched and the charter with the VCS, the voluntary and communal sector, to respect the various communities and to get them to interact in areas they can learn from each other for the common good to do the Ayosha Rabahatari that we should just and good for the whole community. May all the councillors, led by the men, leaders of the parties, be blessed with divine insight to continue the wonderful tradition of this borough 
and our wonderful democracy here in Great Britain to make sure that all the communities as a whole are served best and the respect is given to each one individually. And that respect is truly unified. We have the outcome that is in London Borough Barnet and we're so proud to be part of it. Thank you very much, Diane and Sandy Graham and Shakira.